Hello and thank you for joining us for the weekly message from Bridgen Gospel Hall. I want to talk to you about a couple of verses from John chapter 1, uh, verses 11 and 12, which says this, He, that is the Lord Jesus, came unto his own, but his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to be called the children of God, even to them that believe on him his name. These verses are talking about the importance of receiving Christ. Receiving Christ is all important because it makes a difference as to whether we're children of God or not. So let's consider these verses carefully. He came unto his own, that is, he came unto his own things. He came unto his own nation. He came unto his own kingdom. He came unto his own cities. There are four cities in particular that he could have called his own. The city where he was born, which was Bethlehem. The city where he was brought up, which is Nazareth. The city where he did his public teaching for about three years, namely Capernaum. And the city which was the capital, which he visited often, Jerusalem, where he was eventually killed and crucified. And we're going to think about the Lord Jesus coming to each of these cities. There were people, no doubt, who did receive the Lord Jesus when he came to these cities, but there were people who rejected him too. Thinking of Bethlehem, you will remember that Mary brought forth her firstborn son, Jesus, and wrapped him up in swaddling bands and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. They could have made room, I'm sure, for a pregnant woman about to give birth, but they didn't. And that is possibly symbolic of the attitude of people to the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, that was predicted. Isaiah 53 tells us he would be despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. So he was refused in Bethlehem. And of course, Herod hounded him, wanted to kill him, and he had to flee to uh, Egypt uh, with his parents in order to be protected. So he was rejected in Bethlehem. He was rejected in Nazareth. He stood up one day in Nazareth and read from Isaiah 61 about what Messiah would do when he came, how he would heal broken-hearted people, how he would open the eyes of blind people, how he would deliver people from the power of disease and demons and so on. And he said, I'm going to fulfill these scriptures. Today is this scripture fulfilled in your ears, he said. And of course, the Lord Jesus is claiming to be Messiah. But they didn't like that, and they didn't like the idea that Gentiles were blessed in the Old Testament when the Lord Jesus referred to that. And so they dragged him out of the synagogue and would have killed him if they could. But he, passing through, went his way. So he was rejected by the people of Nazareth, people who knew him, people who he'd grown up amongst. They should have known better, but they refused him. And then he was uh, went to Capernaum. Mighty miracles were done in Capernaum. People were healed at a distance in Capernaum. Centurion's servant was healed in Capernaum. People had their sins forgiven in Capernaum. And many other miracles too. They were exalted to heaven with privilege. And yet the Lord Jesus had to say to some of them that they would be uh, destroyed. There would be the judgment of God would fall upon them because they had refused him. And so Capernaum had the opportunities too, but rejected him. Last of all, Jerusalem, the city of the great king, the capital city, the city he visited often, the city he wept over. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen that gathered her brood under her wing, and ye would not? They refused him. Remember, they sang Hosanna to him, as he was presented to them, uh, riding upon the colt, the fall of the ass, as Zechariah's prophecy said he would. He was fulfilling prophecy in doing that. They sang Hosanna, which means save now, but they still refused him. The elders and the people in charge of the nation, the leaders refused him. And it was they who bade for the death of the Lord Jesus. It was they who cried, crucify crucifying. They stirred up the crowd to do that. And so the nation rejected him and he was crucified outside 
Jerusalem. So all of these cities in general rejected him, although there were individuals in them who did receive him. He came on his own things, his own cities, and his own received him not. But as many as did receive him, to them gave he the authority to be called the children of God, even to them that believe on his name. So there's people who received him in these cities. You say, how can I receive him today? Well, we can receive him by believing in him. That's really what the verse is saying. As many as received him, to them gave he the authority or the power to believe on his name, to become the children of God. And so by believing in the Lord Jesus, we can become part of God's family. We could become a child of God. We can have our sins forgiven. We could call God our Father and heaven our home and Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour. We need to turn away from our sin. We need a Saviour. We need salvation. And only Christ can offer it. The Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. In which category are you in today? Those who received him or those who reject him? The choice is yours. He came unto his own. His own received him not, but as many as received him, to them gave he the power to be called the children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Thank you for listening.